I have the biggest fucking headache right now from playing League of Legends all weekend. I don't know why I thought playing COD would be a good idea, but here we are. So speaking of League, I guess I'll give you guys a quick update real quick. I did actually get to Bronze 2. That's where I'm placed right now. I think last time I told you guys I just got into Bronze 3 and then I like took that little break or whatever for a little bit. Was basically playing the game all weekend and got into Bronze 2. Hopefully I'll be out of Bronze and into Silver by the time that new Warwick rework is out. And if not, I'm going to try out the rework and if I like it, hopefully that can help me get out of Bronze. Are you fucking kidding me? Fucking hell, man. Oh, my head. Did I just get placed in the same fucking game? Are you fucking kidding me, man? There's only this lobby in Ground War right now. There's no other game. Fine, we're going to TDM. So hopefully I will be getting my computer soon. I know I've been saying that for the past couple months, but just the other day I did get my like tax refund form W2. I don't know what the fuck it's called. I can't adult. I literally don't know anything about taxes or anything like that. This is going to be my first time getting a tax refund because this is my first job that I've been working and I've been working it for over a year now. People were telling me it's not going to be like a whole lot of money, but it's going to be a decent amount of pocket cash. And so until I do all the taxes with my parents, obviously they're gonna help me out I have no idea how to do it at all we'll figure out how much it is and then hopefully I can add that to the thousand dollars I have saved up for the PC right now and so hopefully I'll be getting this PC sooner than later I'm super hyped to get this PC too gonna be able to make league videos look at this fucking mo what I'm speechless. I'm gonna be able to make League videos. I'm gonna be able to make a lot more horror playthroughs just because there's a lot of indie horror games that are only on PC. There's a lot of them that I have in mind that I wanna try out. Speaking of horror games too, Resident Evil is only a week away now. It comes out next Tuesday, but I'm going to be going to GameStop and picking up my collector's edition around 9 p.m. I think is when I should be able to go get it. Unfortunately, I do work on Tuesday, so I'm gonna try my best to get out the first playthrough or episode one. I'm gonna try to go to GameStop, come home, record the first one and edit it all up and render it before I have to leave for work. That way you guys are getting episode one the day it comes out. I'm just so hyped for it. If you guys haven't seen, they've been doing a lot of good like marketing and teasers. Capcom, who are the publishers for all the Resident Evil games, actually got together and they sent out a bunch of VCRs and then like a bloody old tape that's an actual like replica from the tape in the game. And they sent that to game reviewers and then also big YouTubers. The YouTubers were pretty limited. They only sent it to like the big playthrough guys, excluding PewDiePie, Markiplier, and Jacksepticeye. They sent it to like the Rad Brad and Angry Joe and a few others that I don't don't even know who they were but most of the vcrs and stuff like that went to the press i guess just because they knew the press was going to market it more but on the tapes that they actually sent to everybody you know you'd hook up the vcr and everything and then put the tape in and the tape would actually be the actor and the voice actor that played who was it wasn't andre or clancy it was p he was an anchor you know weekend sub p what was that he was the guy that shouts un fucking believable and so they actually had the actor that played him in the game and they had him shoot a little video in an abandoned farmhouse you know i, I won't explain it i'll just play it for you guys right here Real bad. Andre's dead. He's bleeding from his fucking eyes. Leaking blood all over. And Clancy? I don't even know where the fuck he went. The Baker family? Pat shit fucking crazy! Ah! Look, this tape. Get it to Max Parker, you hear me? This tape needs to get to him. Get it to ah! You the fuck! I can't take this anymore. These people! These freaks! You, you gotta get the tape! You gotta get here! You gotta- oh! So it was a quick like 30 second video, right? Just basically advertising the game. And what's really cool is that actor actually took the time. They recorded whoever they sent it to to have their name in the actual video. So he would say, hey, you got to get this to IGN or you got to get this to Rad Brad. You got to get this to Angry Joe. It needs to get to IGN. You hear me? I don't care what it takes, what you got to do, but it needs to get to IGN. Oh! I don't care how you do it. I don't care what you need to do to get it out there, but it needs to get to Angry Joe. Oh! The Rad Brad. You hear me? Whatever it takes. The Rad Brad. Oh! 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 Oh!
which I thought was really cool and it's really unique. I don't think I've ever seen any kind of game company do this before and it's all just marketing for the game. Unfortunately, I didn't get one. It's not like I was expecting it or anything, but that would be such a cool collector's item to have the actual tape and the VCR and everything. It's just such a good marketing idea. I absolutely love Capcom for doing that and I'm so excited for next Tuesday. I'm gonna have the collector's edition and everything. Hopefully, I'll have the episode one out the day it comes out that Tuesday. I know that there's a lot of people that get it now, which it tilts me off the fucking face of the earth, man. Like, I understand the game reviewers getting it early because they gotta have their reviews out, you know, the day it comes out. But there's already, like, YouTubers and streamers that have the game that Capcom just gave them the game to stream on YouTube and Twitch and everything right now. There's already people on Twitch. I saw it the other day. There were already people streaming the game, which I don't know how they can do. I thought if the game wasn't out yet, they couldn't stream it. But Capcom, like, gave them the game early so they could stream it a few days early just for advertisement, I guess. And I don't know. It makes me mad. I can't get too butthurt over it. But for us, like, smaller YouTubers and streamers, when we're, like, planning on getting the game and making a whole series on it and everything, it's just kind of disappointing when someone gets the game earlier so they can do what we want to do. Like I said, I'm not going to get too butthurt over it or anything. Oh, it is what it is. And game developers have been sending games to YouTubers and stuff like that early for years. Oh, what? I actually feel like legit trash right now. I think I'm getting sick. I've just had a pounding headache all morning and now my whole body is aching. Are you fucking with me? Cool, dude. Okay, dude, you fucking... Alrighty, guys, well, I feel like, honestly, just complete shit right now. It's... I caught something. I don't know what it is. Just, like, midway through this video, my stomach really started hurting. I don't want to throw up on camera or anything. But before I end the video, I just wanted to open this package real quick, too. I got this in my P.O. box the other day, and I wanted to open it for a video. It's from Mark. He's actually made multiple pieces of fan art for both me and Jason. I actually have the two pieces of fan art that he sent me last year hanging up on the wall back there, framed and everything, and that's where this one's gonna go. But he tweeted out this picture not too long ago so i've already seen it but i just wanted to show it to you guys for a video by the way if any of you guys have any fan art i don't want to sit here and like boast about my p.o box or anything but if any of you guys do have fan art or if you just want to send me letters or send me anything at all to my p.o box the p.o box is down in the description as always Alrighty, but here it is Gosh, these are always so much cooler seeing in person too. But as you can see, he went for the whole V for Vendetta theme. And this is actually the first fan art I've received where they actually put in the purple hair too. So I really like that. I'll put Mark's Twitter down in the description below if you guys want to check out him. He makes a ton of art for multiple people. He's a very talented guy, as you can tell. I absolutely love the drawings that he's done for me. But yeah, as soon as I edit this video together and put it up on YouTube, I'm probably going to go lay in bed and hopefully not puke my guts out before work tomorrow. I'm really not looking forward to that either. I feel like complete trash right now. But Thank you guys all so much for watching. Really hope you all enjoyed the video. If you did, please make sure to leave a big fat thumbs up on it for me because it really does help me out and I really appreciate it a lot. But I will see you all in the next video. And until then, this has been Max. Peace.